Hey friends, it's Pam with Silver and Sparkles, and I'm excited because I am digging through this giant box again um, to see what's in there. And I pulled out another, what I think is about a third. <laughs> it's hard to tell. Um, so we'll go through this today and I'll do a on the fly kind of craft at the end with something that we found. And then I should have, I should be able to then do a third um, in this series so that I can show you guys everything I ended up scoring. I got a lot of questions after the last video um, about where I got it. And it was on Facebook Marketplace. The lady was, I think, de-stashing. Um, anyway, so her her getting one getting the clutter out of her house and moving on to something else was a win for me. All right, so this looks like the first thing I picked up, a beginner's guide to hand lettering, crayoling calligraphy. <laughs> but it does look kind of cool. Um, so there you go, unused. Um, this looks like a piece of pink linen fabric. Very nice. I have no idea what this is, um, but it looks like something, you know, that, that I would like, right? It's a, It says it's a staple board, so maybe you guys have had this. Um, what is it for? Um, it says it includes small, medium, and large magnetic staplers and staples. Staple anywhere. Oh, it's the backwards ones, right? So instead of having to worry, is that is that it? It looks like there's staples in here. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna have to maybe do a little research. I'm not quite sure what the point of them being magnet being held on by little magnets. It says there's a small, medium, and large. It says staple anywhere using the magnetic board. So it must mean I don't have to worry about the bite reach, you know, that I always talk about. Hmm. It says, I'm going to figure out how to use this thing. Place paper on board. Place magnetic guide on paper. Hmm. Maybe there's a video out there, or maybe I'll do a video once I figure out how to use it. Um, I'm, I'm definitely intrigued. And I definitely now want to staple something. So we should staple something, right? All right, I'm going to take these two off. All right, it says to place it. We're going to just have to staple a piece of paper. Let me just get a piece of paper out and see what we can do. Okay, here's a piece of paper. It says to place. Whoa. Is it this too? Y'all, I have no idea what I'm doing. I feel like I'm messing this up. It seems like. All right, that definitely is removable, as are the little staplers that are so cute. But see, that doesn't seem to be staple anywhere. Maybe you just have to be much smarter than me to use this. Huh. All right, it has a great big staple that's kind of cute. I'm going to do some research, and we will come back to Mr. Staple Board. Um, I'm sure you guys, if you know how to use this, I'll get all kinds of comments telling me what this is and what to use it for. And if so, I appreciate you. We're going to set it aside, though, um, because I have no clue. All right, this was something I was really excited when I touched it. It is just um, a pack of card craft cards. So they're already scored, right? And we can just make a card. But you know me, I can use this for just about anything and the envelopes. I love the craft envelopes. So that is a nice score right there. All right, you are Stronger Than the Storm Inspirational Coloring Book for Adults. And it looks brand new. Um, I do like some adult coloring. I sometimes do that. But um, we'll have to see what I end up doing. This might end up being a gift for someone. We shall see. All right, now, this was definitely exciting scrap of paper, and I think there's more in the box. Um, I don't know what this is. It looks like somebody's writing about something. We're gonna throw that away, or I'll just use that as scrap paper. Okay, so some pretty pieces of scrap of paper. Some are cardstock, um, 
These look like, again, back in my scrapbooking days, maybe from the early, mid-2000s. <laughs> I'm guessing I kind of like that stripe. Ooh, this is all going to turn... Ooh, look at those pretty flowers. We're going to be able to make some fun one-page wonders with these. I can add it to my own 12 by 12 stash. Um, there's a piece... This is just a piece of kind of ivory colored cardstock. That piece is just a paperweight, card weight. That's fun. Okay, so some fun 12 by 12 papers, little cards. And then this looks like some kind of pad. When in Rome. Hmm. You guys know um, my youngest daughter, if, if y'all have been with me for a while, um, went to. Florence this summer so not Rome but I think there might be enough things that are um, oh it's other things not just Rome so there's London so it's just like travel papers kind of fun right all right that'll be fun again more more ideas can start flowing with all the new papers and we'll see what other collections we find later. Now I pulled out a couple of these kinds of bins that were just stuck in there and I'm seeing some pretty blingies. Pretty blings. It's star shaped. Again, a bunch of stars. Um, there's a bunch of leaves. Those will be pretty for fall. I think this is considered just table scatter, it says. So like, you know, if you're having a fancy party or a wedding or something, um, but there are holes in them. We could probably add them to a dangle um, on a tag or on a journal. These look like, I don't know, it's not really a snowflake, a star blue and silver. Some little fuzzy pink balls. Mm, these are a bunch of little mini stars and little plastic bags to put all of our fun little things in once we open them, I guess. Confetti, confetti, confetti. Lots of glitter, confetti. I'm gonna have to make some sparkly things. Ooh, there's some scary eyeballs maybe for Halloween. Um, with Christmas around the corner, here's hearts. We'll, we'll have to maybe make some ornaments or some decorations for our Christmas journals. My finger is getting into something very sticky. I don't want to touch that again. Uh, musical notes. Ooh, okay, we're going to stop because everything I'm touching is super sticky in the bottom of this bin. So I will have to clean a little. Get the sticky out of there. Oh, little mini spoons. I've actually used these um, in some tea favors that I've made for my um, craft fair. I think I'm going to make those again this year. And you fold a piece of um, scrapbook paper a certain way and put a little tea bag and then a little honey packet and then one of these little spoons and put it in like a um, clear envelope. So cute. So I'll use those. I'll make a few. Ooh, some score tape. I'd love adhesive. I'm going to put this over here with my other two-sided tape pile. Um, doesn't everyone have a two-sided tape pile? I don't know. All right, let's see what else is in here. Um, painter's masking tape, always good for crafting. A little sticky note. Ooh, this looks like fun. Lots of embellishments. So these look like... Um, Again, for jewelry making, and you can um, add resin, right, and fill them up. But we could also just add pretty papers and make um, built-in bookmarks for our journals or add them to tags. I will definitely have fun with these. I'm really not... I've tried resin and before and all these glittery and sparkly things. That's probably um, more spoons. Um, what what she was making, and you guys helped me figure remember that word. Um, but a bunch of you left comments. Thank you. Um, but I always get the bubbles in it, and it's just I don't know. I don't have the patience for it. I'd much rather spend my time doing some crafts. All right, these look like ah, look, little 
string white strings so these are great um, to add to projects and they're really thin I can't believe they work isn't that exciting um, if I want to add light to something I've used them like when I've done doll houses and miniatures and things like that but again with the holiday crafting you guys are gonna be annoyed with all this crinkling around the corner um, I think this will be a lot of fun and that is not wanting to go back in there but I do kind of want these to stay together so I am gonna pull out my stapler that I know how to work and just staple them together all right oh, more blingy things cute container yeah so lots of um, sparkles, sequins, things like that. These we can just like hot glue or glue right down on the some projects. More of these little bins, popsicle sticks. Oh, Christmas trees. I was just talking about Christmas. That'll be fun. Hmm. Gator polish. Wet dry sanding of primers, colors, or clear coats before buffing. All right, okay, looks like there's quite a bit of sandpaper type items. Hmm. I'm not quite sure what all this is, but it's sticky. And looks like drill bits. These are some kind of protectors. Oh, finger protectors. Um, I wonder what we use these for. I'm assuming these are sticky if we pull them off. Oh, this is for jewelry making. It's some jump rings and some of the, um, you know, that you could add the beads to and then twirl them up. I used to know the head pins, head pins, I think. Okay, so lots of different things in here, more sandpaper. Here is a adhesive dispenser. wonder if it still has some stick to it. Hmm. I don't know, but we'll play with that later. Lots of sandpaper, lots of different kinds of sandpaper, a lot more um, popsicle sticks, craft sticks, uh, an air freshener. Oh, look, I made 20 cents, two dimes. <laughs> okay, so more plastic where I'm assuming, again, I think like when you do resin work, um, like using plastic spoons and knives, I don't know. Somebody that knows more about this can tell me what you think maybe some of that is or what she was into. But um, yeah, I will um, definitely find some uses for those items. Now I have one more basket and I've gotta start thinking about what is the craft we're gonna make. Oh my goodness, at least there was paper, right? At least I had paper. Okay, what is in here? This looks like just a container, um, like a pencil box. So I will set that aside to put some of my goodies in. Uh, we used to call these, um, like when they were round and little dots, like bump dots, but things um, on some sponge to make things pop up or pop dots, something like that. Maybe we'll use some of those on a project here in a second. Some little tassels, maybe making some crafts for graduation. A lot more blingies, setting those aside. A lot of blingies. Um, she was definitely into those. Ooh. What are these? Plastic diamonds, four millimeters. I don't see that these have holes in them. So I'm gonna have to think, maybe we could make some shakers, like a shaker tag. That would be fun. We've got all kinds of things we could put in there. Ooh. And this looks like some little tiny organizer with very pretty little, very thin um, flowers. So again, maybe some working with some resin there. Oh, there's a tag. Maybe that can be the beginning of our shaker tag. Some heart faux metal stickers. 
I'm gonna take this basket out and look at it in just a second. Tape, you can always use some tape. Hmm, adhesive sheets, wacky tape, ideal for vellum. Hmm, double-sided, repositional, fast and easy, peel and stick. Very cool. This looks like it was bought from one of the fancy um, scrapbook stores back in the day, uh, but I definitely will use that. Wow, a whole lot of silver flat beads from Hobby Lobby at some point. And look at this, a whole another container of these. Um, we have lots of ways to make things sparkly and a G from Scrabble. Okay, I'm gonna set this one aside. Like I said, I gotta start thinking about what I'm gonna make. This is our last little bin for today. Oh no, another tool I'm gonna have to learn how to use. Um, no clue. Cut and draw perfect circles from one inch to six inches. Huh, well that might be fun for me to learn how to use. I don't know if there's still a blade in there or not. All right, so there's instructions. She was very organized. So perhaps, um, we can learn to use that at some point. All right, this looks like um, she did some embossing. Silver, gold, different colors. Maybe she was practicing um, some embossing. Just some white cardstock. There's some more Scrabble tiles. Let's see. Envelopes, white envelopes, large white envelopes. Ah, oh, some cute thank you notes. Ooh, this paper is really nice and textured. Um, party invitations, but they're nice um, weight cardstock, so we can use this as the base for lots of things, or flip it over and use that side, right? Never throw away a good piece of cardstock. Some blue navy textured cards. That's like how the old scrapbook paper had that texture in it. That's what those feel like. Uh, another envelope and card. Oh, these are some fun. These look like envelopes she made herself um, using the envelope punch board, right? Squares. And I think I have a video I did a long time ago on how to use that um, We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. So if you have one of those, go back and watch the old video. <laughs> it's probably really bad, but um, okay. Envelopes. Okay, so lots and lots of envelopes. And I'm sitting here trying to think from all of these things that we have. What can I make today? And I like the idea of making some kind of shaker shaker tag. I'm just not sure I have everything I need to do that. Should we try it anyway? Um, maybe we will. Maybe we'll just go for it and see what happens. All right. So I haven't made shaker tags in a while, and we may make one, and then I may do a a better tutorial video later. But if we just grab this tag that was in there, and a lot of times I'll use like transparencies, and I have some somewhere here in my craft room. But I also have this piece of plastic. There's a hole right there. But I'm thinking I can cut a piece of this to use. And it is fun sometimes to use your packaging that you have to make something. So let's see if we can make one that looks halfway decent. <laughs> I'm gonna chop it off. Obviously I'm not gonna use the side with the sticker, but I am going to get it trimmed straight. First, let me see how wide do I need the plastic to be. Okay, three inches, hopefully. Let's see. I'm struggling. I'm going to do it a little teeny bit less. Well, that is not cut very straight. So I'm going to come to here. I'm going to cut it. And now I'm going to trim it off again, just a smidge under three inches. And I'm hoping that adhesive paper stuff we saw that said great for vellum is going to work. Okay. And then how tall is our tag? And you can make these like with paper confetti inside. We can make them with some of the types of confetti we just saw. Um, 
I wouldn't do the real chunky, bulky ones probably with, with the way I'm going to do this. But some of the flat ones should work. I am going to bring this up. I'm going to cut it to three and a half inches. I can always trim it more later, right? So get the end off and we're going to go to three and a half inches. And if I want it smaller, I can trim it later. Okay. We have a piece of plastic. All of that, just for a piece of plastic. Let's see if it works. Um, transparencies are nice too because they are um, a little bit thicker uh, and you can sew on them. Um, all right, this has a funky shape to it. So you know what, Ooh, maybe if we turn it this way and I can try to attach it by folding it around, maybe that'll be a good plan. And then we could even put something on the back of the card too. Then I don't have to worry about those weird edges. Okay, I have somewhat of a plan. We'll see if it works. All right, let's see how this stuff works. There's no instructions. I'm going in cold. Let's see if I can get it. Crack and peel to expose adhesive. Ooh, okay. So I'm assuming if I stick this down and pick it up, I'm going to pick up some adhesive. That did not work. <laughs> Look at me. I'm just trying different stuff. Hmm. I mean, it's definitely sticky on that side. So how do I get it over here? I'm going to try again. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. Let's see. If not, we'll just use other adhesive. Ooh. All right, I got a strip there, probably more than I needed, but we'll put a piece of um, fun cardstock or something on the other side. All right, you probably can't see what I did, but I just stuck this down, and then I'm hoping if I add some to this side, we will be able to close it up, but I also need some along the bottom of the plastic. So there's probably a better or a way you're supposed to use this stuff, but here I go. All right, if I want it to glue to this side, the bottom, I'm gonna need some adhesive right along there. See how I'm trying to line it up? on the sticky part of this sheet so that when I pick it up, what I'm hoping, yes, is it's gonna transfer and it did. I haven't thought through how I'm gonna glue the top yet. <laughs> okay, and then I need some on this strip too. I'm not sure what I do when I've used up the edge of this thing. Don't know. Okay. It looks pretty good. I'm gonna leave the top open, knowing I'm going to deal with that later. Okay, I have no idea how sturdy this is. If this is so old, it's not gonna work. But I'm having fun. I hope you guys are too. Okay, now we'll probably need to add some kind of decoration or something, because I don't like how that looks. But right now we have a pocket. So I'm going to grab, these seem a little too, too much. Let's see where we have some more of the little pieces that I thought might be good. I think some of these, this kind for our shaker. So there's different leaves. Ugh, everything's so sticky though. Why did I pick the stickies? I don't know. Um, I'm kind of in a fall mood, so I'm kind of thinking maybe we will use a few of those chunky ones and a few of these leaves. Why not, right? Let's see if we drop some leaves down in here. 
what that looks like. They're not shaking around too much. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't play at anything. All right, and I'm gonna put a few of these down in here because it'll be pretty if you see the silver or the gold side. And I'm thinking that's gonna help give it some bulk. But they all flipped over to the silver side. Get some turned over to the gold side. Maybe a few more. Whoa. I'll just shake a few more in like that. All right, have you guys ever ended up with someone's craft supplies um, and have no idea what things were meant to be used for? Um, I have gotten some things like, again, thrifting definitely and at yard sales and things like that. But they're usually things that I've had the chance to look at and um, kind of pick through. So this is definitely a different experience. Okay, obviously one good option would be to sew right across there, but I'm not gonna go over to my sewing machine. Let's see if we can get a piece of this stuck up under there. Um, and my glue might hold it. I just feel like the glue with the plastic. Now I remember working with this, um, and it is hard to find the end, but it's super thin. The red peels off. So what I should have done is put this down before I stuck my, oh, I have an idea. I'm going to go over the top of it. Before I stuck down my other sides, and then this would have been a little bit easier. All right, it's super narrow, but what I'm thinking is, Got a little bit of a buckle right there, but I think it'll be okay. Um, is when I pull it up, I can peel it up. I may put another piece down and then we'll put like a piece of paper at the top and the bottom to decorate this tag up some and to cover up our adhesive. All right, see how that red just disappears? And I'm gonna get one more piece in an effort to really hopefully make sure this is closed right along the seam. We'll throw that little piece away. Now I am going to pull out a piece of the paper that we just looked at, and hopefully we're going to be able to, if I can get this to let go, um, we will be able to cut a piece of paper that'll look really cute on here. And I'm about to say it doesn't matter if I peel this one up or not. It's kind of like... Maybe it'll just be extra. We'll cover it up and you won't see it. Okay, where did I put the pretty papers? What would look cute with that? Like I said, I'm kind of going for a fall kind of vibe. I don't want to mess up those pretty flowers though. Anything I cut a sliver off of might impact our ability to make a one sheet wonder with it. <laughs> so, but they're all pretty cool. Let's use a piece. We'll use a sliver of this one. And let's see, I am going to just tear an inch because I'm going to use the little trimmer that I have here that fits on my desk. And we will get it to the size and shape that we want it. Okay, so I'm thinking, how wide did I say our tag was? Our tag is three inches. So I'm gonna cut the strip three inches. And then I'm going to cut it say it three quarters of an inch 
Yeah. And if I get that white off of there and ink it up some. And then here at the top. Yeah, I don't really want to cover up. Um, I think I'm going to cut this one down just a little bit. So now it's probably about half an inch. And we have that piece. Okay, we have three little slivers we can work with. And we're going to have to do something else to this because it's, I'm not feeling it yet. But hang with me and hopefully we will come up with something fabulous. If this isn't your, your vibe and you're still watching and you're like, what is she doing? You could just fast forward to the end and see what we ended up with. It's not cheating. I'll be okay with it if you decide to do that. Do I want the skinny, skinny one? Or do I want this one? I'm gonna go with this one. And I didn't even look. Yeah, I don't like the side with the words. I like that side of the paper and I love words, but it's just not quite the right color for our craft. All right. I really do wish this little piece of adhesive would let go. Ah! All right just by not giving up. Okay, so we've got the adhesive there, but I'm also gonna add some wet white glue to the back of my scrapbook cardstock to glue it down. All right, so hopefully now this is not going anywhere and we don't have to worry about it. And then I'm gonna cover up this adhesive with this strip of paper. And I'm gonna hope that my PVA glue um, eh, will stick to that little piece of plastic. If not, we'll use some two-sided tape. Okay, it's not like what's holding it closed, so I'm not too worried. All right, so now we have a very ugly, right now, shaker tag. So now I gotta think of something to make this look a little bit cuter. I don't know. Um, do we have things in, in here or am I gonna have to go into my own stash? I don't know, there were lots of fun treasures, but a lot of it, like I said, it kind of stretches me because except for the paper, these aren't supplies that I would normally um, with the type of crafting that I do craft with. So I do like the concept of the shaker, but I'm definitely not thinking this looks very cute right now. So what what is on my desk? Maybe that's fair, right? If something's on my desk, I can use it. What do you guys think? <laughs> um, let, let's go with that. So I am going to open up my ephemera notebook that I made <laughs> and find us a little doodad or something. Um, I still have a box of doodads that I have not yet put into one of my folders. It's still sitting here on my desk and we could look at it too probably. But let me just kind of thumb through and see if there's something that jumps out at me that is going to make this start to look fabulous. All right, a tab always helps everything. Um, I also think words or labels make things look great. So, oh, or a faux stamp, if I can find a little stamp. Da -da -da. Here's some stamps, maybe a deer. I don't know, I'm not feeling the deer. Maybe a circle and a label. Okay. And hmm. perhaps we need a sticker. Well, here's a butterfly photo stamp. I don't know. Maybe a sticker. I have a whole bunch of stickers, but then random ones that ended up in my little doodad box ended up here where I don't normally put stickers. Um, I, I normally keep them kind of together in their sticker pack, but let's glue those together and then I have an idea. Let's see how this looks. So again, I'm a little worried about the adhesive. Hmm. 
No, it grabbed it. Okay, I'm not gonna worry about the adhesive. All right, uh, PVA glue for the win. All right, we're gonna stick this label right there like that. And just give it time to grab, hold, and dry. And then that already has some uh let's see maybe up here no i liked it down here um we're just gonna stick it down it's a little lumpy with all of the little doodads we put in the little sparklies so i'm gonna let them slide up to the top to make it a little easier to put this on let that grab hold now I haven't inked the tab tag. That will probably help a little bit too. You got that gold going on. Hmm. Still a little bit ugly, but I have an idea. I'm not loving this. So I'm going to take that off. And I don't think this is long enough. I was going to tie a bow, but then also add um some other kind of ribbon or something something let's see what a bow looks like glued on here and then some other kind of something through the hole all right it's starting to look more like me isn't it <laughs> plenty of glue to hold that down probably should have used a glue dot since I'm on camera because I do need to let that dry but let's let's jump in here and see if there's anything or if I need to grab some other ribbon or threads or something hmm. I um, used some of my fluffy threads recently but I don't have any of the strings in here right now. Let me grab some. I'm gonna grab some. You guys, I don't know how to edit my videos, so don't be rude while I try to find something that might look cute. I hope you guys can still hear me as I'm talking. All right, no idea. I just, first things my hands grabbed. These were the two I used on a video recently that should, it's not up now, but it should be by the time you guys are watching this one. Okay. I don't know, are the colors right? Maybe just some green, because those other colors aren't quite looking right to me. Um, now working with these can be a little challenging, and sometimes I feel like we need multiple threads, but getting them through, um, can be a, can be difficult. So I'm gonna try a different strategy. Hope we don't get in the glue too much. Okay, Let's see if I can pull that through. All right, and then we'll use this to maybe tie on some extras. So I'm gonna just cut a few. I'm just kind of eyeballing the lengths and. We'll do four because there's already one there. And I'm gonna just lay them across like this and use the ends of the one that's already attached to the tag to tie it. We're gonna be super fluffy. Oh gosh. All right, so I hope you guys <laughs> I don't know if the bow ended up being what we needed there now that I have this fluffy topper, but it is cute, isn't it? There we go. It is, um, it needs to dry, but there you go. It is <coughs> a, a craft on the fly. It's a little ugly. I'll have to see if it grows on me. Um, again, I like the idea of the shaker, 
but um, the colors and everything didn't quite come together for me. But there you go. We got to look at another third of the box. I'll have one more unboxing video for you guys. Um, let me know if you're still interested. <laughs> um, and let me know what you would have made from what you saw me pull out today. Okay, I am, I am pretty excited about some of the tools and learning out how to use them. And always love having some new paper to play with. Okay, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I appreciate you guys. Have a great day until next time.